Hi there, okay then, let's get on and pot our sugar beet up. First of all we get the pot, it's a 20 centimetre pot, you can use um, probably a bit smaller, a bit larger, but around about that so we get a nice good root come July when we harvest it. Um, fill it up with compost, any general purpose compost will, will do, we're using a fine seed compost here but you can get any one from your local garden centre. Fill it nice and full, gently pat it down, and onto the planting. Right, we're using the sugar beet seed here that we sent you. The reason why I'm wearing my gloves is because this seed is actually treated with a fungicide. So um, using the gloves so you don't get fungicide on your fingers. Obviously make sure you wash your hands when you're finished. What we'll simply do is place, place the sugar beet two seeds per pot and we will thin out at a later date. Um, the two seeds onto the uh, compost and then just push them down just gently, probably the size of, your, of an adult's like fingernail. So, just cover them up like that. And when we're going to put, put them in the glass house or on your windowsill, wherever, I suggest you get a saucer to hold the water, put them on the saucer, and now we'll take them to where we're going to grow them. Moved into the greenhouse here at Rooms Barn, and it's time to water our plants in. Obviously the first water, give it a good water. And if you've got them on the winds, windowsill already, or you don't want to make too much a mess, as we can here in the glass house, you can always just water gently from the top, and then fill the saucers up, and then the water will move up to the seedlings, like so. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to leave one of these plants here in the greenhouse. We're going to take one to a north-facing office, so it may be mimic your school or the area you're growing it there. And we're actually going to move one outside so it grows naturally as it would in the field. Um, just on the watering, give it enough, but in early stages, don't overwater them, actually, it will flood out the uh, seedling. 